Hello everyone, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I have here a very beautifully wrapped box from Weba. Thank you so, so much for sending this. I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage this all because she said she wrapped it like it was the most protected thing you are ever going to see. So I'm gonna wrap, unwrap all of that first and then I'll show you what's in here. And here's everything unboxed. Oh my goodness, Weva, you included so much, thank you. So I am going to have a lot of fun swatching all of these. Let's get started. So I'm gonna do this video in two parts just because, I mean, this is gonna be very, very long if I decided to do it all in one. So the first part of this video, I am going to swatch all of the dye mine inks that Weva sent me. And these are all from Inkvent Calendars, which I'm really, really excited about. I also want to add that Miss Marilyn Darling, whose swatches I did a few weeks ago, they sent me masquerade because they ended up freaking Miss Marilyn Darling forgot to end up including this. So now I have two of Dye Mine Masquerade, which I'm very, very excited about. All right, so what I am swatching in, this is my Galen Leather a5, I forgot the size for a sec, A5 notebook with uh, 52 GSM Tamoy River paper. And that is, this grid is also what comes with the notebook. I get a lot of questions about this grid. This grid comes with this notebook. And then I will be doing writing samples with my Kakimori Brass Nib, which is on my River City Pen Co. nib holder. I've also got my Speedball B nib here. I will be doing some circles with the top of a sample ink vial and I have Rhodia paper here as well as my wearing goal swatch card. So let us get started. Firstly we'll do a sugar snap and this one I love the bottles for the dye mite ink vent because on the side it says it is shimmer. If you hear whining it is because Lucy is in her bed underneath my desk doesn't seem happy at the moment or she was hyper she wanted me to play but I'm like no I have some ink swatching to do and the thing I am forgetting with ink swatching is my pipettes right here which I have purchased from Amazon so we'll take a small tiny drop actually I do need a bit more because I will be placing these so one here and one, two, three, and then one here. I think that should actually be enough. And swirl. Ooh, that is a lighter green. I feel like that looks like Diamine Meadow with shimmer. That's gonna be lovely. Oh, I forgot. I'm like not in a routine with ink swatching at the moment and Talking through all of the ink swatching too. Oh, that is pretty. That is pretty. So, get some on my nib here. And, ooh, yeah, it really does remind me of Diamine Meadow that they've added silver shimmer to. So this is Diamine Ink Vent. And it is Sugar Snap. Writes really nicely on this nib, actually. I'm gonna put a little bit more so that I can get the lines and the different line widths. Oops, there we go. Oh, that's really pretty. I really like Dye Mine Meadow anyway, but to be able to see it with shimmer is fantastic. So I'm going to spread some around here on this Wearing Gold swatch card. Perfect. So this is Dye Mine. Sugar. Snap. And it's a sample. Move this to the side. So for ink swatching, you definitely don't have to do as much work as I'm putting into this right now. You, if you just want to do it in your journal or do it in sample pages like this, it's completely up to you. You don't have to do what I do, but look at that. That is phenomenal. 
love that shimmer. So that is Dye Mine Sugar Snap. Next we have Dye Mine Lavender Frost. I'm just gonna shake it up a bit here because it is shimmer ink. And this is gonna go in the purple category. So grabbing some with the pipette. Just a small dot there. One, two, three, and a little blob there. Perfect. And then getting some, whoops, nope. I'm like, what is the order of things I am doing at the moment? So <laughs> let's swirl that around. Ooh, that's lovely. I like a good kind of grayish purple with shimmer. And I, I do think that that silver shimmer that's in there definitely makes it look a little bit more gray. So, this is Diamonds Lavender Frost. Oh, I like that a lot. And it, I feel like the name really does suit it because it does. Look, it is lavender. And then adding that silver shimmer makes it frosty. There we go. And then, oops. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice and shimmery. And I think even in a fine or an extra fine nib, I think that would come out really, really well. So let's spread that around here. I love these swatch cards from Wear and Ghoul. I mean, they're not going to be an exact representation of what you see on Tamoy River paper, for example. But it's lavender. Oh my gosh. Lavender frost, but it it will give you a good idea of what inks you do have, and I like having a catalog of all the link links inks I have tried. Wow, you can tell it's getting late at night because my words are all slurring together. <laughs> so that is a dye mine lavender frost. That's pretty. The next one we have is Dye Mine Masquerade, and this is the one that I'm really excited about, that I am so glad that I also have this second sample from Miss Marilyn Darling, so thank you. And this was the one, along with Cashmere Rose, that I had a lot of people tag me in and say, this ink is so you, and I'm so excited to see it now. Wait, but you did say that these were gonna be super tight. <laughs> <laughs> but that wasn't actually too bad. All right, so I'm taking a drop here. And then three drops here. Oops, make that a little bigger. And then drop there. Oh gosh, I will definitely be inking up a pen with this ink in April. And I know it's not really a spring color, but I don't care. I'm excited about it. Maybe put it in a pen that will be in my five-year journal. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yes, I love it. Oh my gosh, yeah. It's very me, this ink. Yes. Oh. Yep, I love it. I love the color. I love the shading. I really like that shimmer that's in there. But how is it when you're trying to do a writing sample? Not too bad, it's not too wet. Comes off the nib easily. So this is Dye Mine. Masquerade. Oh, I like that. This bit. Put a little bit more on my nib here. Oh, yes. Yep, whoever tagged me in this ink, you know me, and I really, really like that. That is going in a pen 
for April, and that will be my five-year journal ink for the month of April, because that is fun. I feel like it's very me. All right, so Dimine. Masquerade. And that is a sample. Like, look at that drying on the Rhodia paper. Isn't that stunning? I love that so, so much. So that is Dimine Masquerade. The next one is Diamine Rainbows End, and I'm excited to try this one. I've seen this, but it was never on my list to try, and it looks purple or blurple. And take a little more in there. And one, two, three, and a big drop there. And Weva, you totally filled these to the brim, and I absolutely appreciate you doing that. So let's swirl that around. Ooh. That reminds me of kind of a, the Pilot Hiroshizuku Murasaki Shikibu, but then the shimmer is going to change the tone of that. Absolutely. Oh, I like that very, very much. That is a bright and punchy blurple. Because I feel like it, you, in some angles it looks more blue and other angles it looks more purple so it is a blurple so this is diamine rainbows and and i think atlas were doing this competition and wasn't rainbows end one that a lot of people liked I can see why. And this is coming off the nib really well. So I think even in a fine or an extra fine nib, this would work beautifully. Look at the pink shimmer in that. Oh, I love it. Reminds me a little bit of Aurora Yalis, but I think this leans more blue, whereas Ferris Wheel Aurora Yalis leans more toward the warmer side of purple. But oh gosh, it's so pretty. So it's Diamine and Rainbow's End. Gosh, that's beautiful. Another lovely purple to add to my list. Look at that as it dries. Look at the shimmer on that. Stunning. All right, so that is Diamine Rainbow's End. The next ink is Diamine Party Time, and this one has been an Atlas favorite. I've seen so many people recommend this for the Atlas mystery boxes. People have been, it, it has been sold out for how long? It's a, I'm excited to try this, a fun, punchy ink. And you can already tell, like, just by the color in that pipette, how that's going to turn out. Oops, I need my sample ink file. Oh, that is fun. Gosh, that's a good, like, spring-summer color as well. It's not just a wintry color. It's like a good spring-summer color. And I'm excited to see what the shimmer is going to look like in this. It reminds me a little bit of uh, Pilot Hiroshizuku Yamabudo, but I didn't really have Yamabudo for very long. So what does it look like in the different line widths? Oop. Oh, get some more. Oops, all right. Oh, lovely. Oops, I need, I've been saying oops a lot in the last minute, sorry. Oh, I really like that. That's fun. I'm waiting for the shimmer to show up. Oops, gosh. Oh, I feel like I'm getting late. What, it's almost nine o'clock in the evening? <laughs> it's been a long, 
work day, but like the, the ink swatching is my self-care relaxing at the end of a long work day. Oh gosh. Yeah, that is lovely. It's, I'm trying to see where the shimmer is, but I feel like it's kind of settled. I'm waiting for it. Oh, it looks like it's purple shimmer, which is very fun. Sample diamond. Party time. Oh, wow. I really, really like that. I can see the shimmer now. And that like purple shimmer. Goodness. That is a fun ink. No wonder it's called party time. So, dye mine party time. Last but not least is raise a glass. Now, Miss Marilyn Darling had already sent me some of this as well, and I won't be doing a Rhodia paper swatch card for this, but I will still do my little circle. And also I'll put a little drop there for, so I know the color. Oops, that was a lot. Then swirl that around. It is, I can already tell, or from what I remember anyway, because I haven't used it yet since getting it from Miss Marilyn Darling. Yes, another great purple. I love a good purple. So having more of this, I am very happy. Let's just make sure there's a lot on that nib there. Oh, pretty. Purple with shimmer. Can't go wrong. This is Dimine. Raise. Oops. Oh, glass. I feel like my writing is getting progressively worse as I do this. So... Oops. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Van Diemen's May that I tried quite a few months ago. But that Van Diemen's May had a lot of sheen as well, whereas this is just that green shimmer, which I'm really, really enjoying. Oh, love that. So that is Dye Mine Raise a Glass. So there are the inks from part one of what Weva sent me. Thank you so, so much. And you know what's sticking out for me is that rainbow's end. It's just popping. And I can compare it actually to Ferris Wheel Press. So this is on Tamoy River paper. And yeah, you can see the rainbow's end looks more bluey purple, whereas this one looks more like grayish purple. But gosh, those are so so fun just comparing the two so yeah but that is it for me for today i will film part two and put that up hopefully next week and then we can compare all of the inks that weva sent me i'm just so grateful for this kind community that want to send me inks and exchange inks and it's such a great way to get to know other people in the fountain pen community i'm so so grateful Thank you again so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.